This is a patient with chronic aqueous misdirection after cataract surgery. She has a myopic outcome due to anterior effective lens position, chronic glaucoma, and uh, she's also bothered by uh, vitreous floaters. So we're placing three pars planar trocars, and we're placing them slightly less than three millimeters posterior to the limbus, whereas normally we put these a little bit further back in this tiny little eye. We want to be uh, careful to place these a bit more anterior. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, try to create a unicameral eye. Uh, we're going to first go ahead and do a pars plane of vitrectomy. And you can see that she's got a lot of a webby, uh, cloudy, uh, vitreous uh, floaters uh, that uh, are really bothering her. So we're going to go ahead uh, and clean that up uh, anyway since we're trying to create a unicameral eye and do a, a good vitrectomy here. And so we're going to clean all this uh, uh, webby, uh, turbid stuff out uh, while we do this. Uh, we're using um, a vitrector here with the cut rate uh, at 5,000. And uh, now we'll work our way anterior and remove the more peripheral anterior uh, vitreous 360 degrees. And uh, once we uh, remove this uh, anterior vitreous, I'm going to come to the area, back to the area where we're going to make our peripheral lateral and try to create a connection between the anterior and posterior chamber and uh, make sure that we've done a really complete vitrectomy. Here you can see the nice clear view, the uh, macula and nerve after removing all the cloudy floaters. Uh, we're now going to try to make sure we've removed all of the vitreous uh, anteriorly uh, where we're going to uh, make our communication between the anterior and posterior chamber. I've made a paracentesis. I'm going to inject myocol and bring down the pupil. Uh, and now, uh, because I want to create an iridotomy, I'm going to move my infusion line to the anterior chamber and use a Lewicki uh, anterior chamber cannula. This will deepen uh, this crowded uh, anterior uh, chamber so I can get in there with a vitrector and make my iridotomy. And you'll notice when I do this, I don't go all the way out to the periphery because I don't want to hit uh, the ciliary body and cause a lot of bleeding. So I go to about one millimeter inside uh, and go all the way through. And now I'm going to go back through the pars plana and make sure I create a communication uh, through the peripheral capsular bag uh, all the way through. There you go. You can see I'm uh, all the way through. And so now I've created a unicameral eye and the case is completed. We'll go ahead and remove these trocars, uh, inject a little antibiotics, and uh, we're done. Uh, thank you for your attention.